beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time joining then hello hi my name is Foy welcome to the Foy Hive and I'm gonna be your youtuber for the day today we are doing a wig review slash reinstall slash Foy tries episode and I'm gonna be um basically customizing installing this wig that I got from AliExpress I got it from here I asked for about $120 I ordered it on the 11.11 sale last year and I received these like ugly ass lashes, a few wig caps, some hair bands, and also that little satin pouch, as well as the wig itself. It is a 20 inch kinky straight wig with 150% density. And it also was an enlarged wig cap, which is 23 inches. I forgot to show, I forgot to show a lot of things in this video, but I forgot to show that I actually had to cut basically where the frontal is attached on both sides, about an inch or two, um, so that I could actually fit this wig over my head and like onto my sideburns because that's just how big my head is which is why I don't wear wigs a lot because they aren't comfortable for me but anyways I really did like this wig as you can see it tapers a bit at the ends but because kinky straight hair is so voluminous voluminous whatever um it's actually fine that it isn't full to the very ends but you can obviously just trim that if you need to the hairline was pre-plucked and I honestly thought the plucking was perfectly fine like I have a naturally foolish hairline and I think that they did a pretty good job and I didn't want to pluck any further to be honest but I think it looked really really good um as you saw it also had an elas elastic band and clips on it so yeah I think it was a pretty good wig overall especially for something so cheap like when re when reviewing wigs I think you always have to like bear in mind the cost of the wig this was a cheap ass wig and I think it held up pretty well um so yeah I love my canvas head I got this from take a lot and I had to protect it with a plastic bag, you know, and I put some T-pins in it to keep it in place while we prepare to bleach the knots. Personally, I hate bleaching knots. I really, really do. I never quite do it right because I'm always scared. Like, I'm truly scared that I'm going to um, over bleach and it's going to bleed into the roots of the wig and then I'm going to have to dye it and blah, blah, blah. So I'm always more on the cautious side. But I thought this was volume 40 bleach. I did buy it from like a beauty supply store in Claremont in Cape Town. But still, I thought I was going to do something turns out to do like absolutely nothing <laughs> but i also didn't only leave it on for 10 minutes but if it's volume 40 bleach 10 minutes should be enough you get me so yeah first of all you must make a thick ass paste like you don't want to make it very watery or runny because that will just leach into the lace and then it'll get onto the hair and then you'll have to re-dye your hair so you want something thick so that it just sits like on top and it will only get the the knots that you're pressing it into personally i think the biggest difference comes when you tint the lace i'm a big fan of tinting the lace i don't use lace sprays and i hate using makeup especially putting the makeup on the wig so i like to tint my lace and i use the tea bag method which is where you just take like four six five roses tea bags you boil it in a pot and then once you've taken the pot off the boil very important that part then you just like dip the wig in it or you can leave it in it for like a few minutes but fair warning it will make your hair feel kind of crunchy so if your hair is not good or decent quality it'll make you freak out but like after you put some um conditioner and shampoo in it it all just works out completely fine so like it is a bit scary like all of this is a bit scary especially because this is your hard-earned money that you are playing around with but like i prefer tinting it makes a much bigger difference in my opinion anyways that was the bleach on the wig and then after that i just washed it um shampoo and conditioned it as normal and i think it came out pretty fine you know like it, it worked out quite well and now you can see that the hairline is actually like pretty decent like it did do a little bit of bleaching and the hair does look a bit flat but it's actually fine hi guys sorry to time jump once again i filmed all of that pretty much in november last year um, when i first received this wig it is now march so obviously i skipped the part where i installed the wig so i'm gonna jump back to that because obviously those clips were inserted into this video um but i'm just gonna take a little commercial break to show you how i wash this wig because i did a bald cap installation so there's a lot of like got to be no not got to be like ghost bond it was a different brand but like effectively it's that type of glue on the lace um and I just haven't washed it since I just put it in the bag and left it in my cupboard since that day. <laughs> so I'm going to wash it. So I'm just going to show you how I remove the glue, how I wash the wig. And then I'm going to come back tomorrow or on Wednesday when I install this wig for my birthday. And then I'm going to show you how to also install, how to reinstall a wig that you've used before. So we'll do it like that. Anyways, I can say from like about here, this is where I messed up. Um, because I wanted to try a new technique for removing the glue from my 
my lace usually i just like literally peel it off um with the lace and then i go wash the wig and i use like an old toothbrush to kind of scrub the lace to make sure all of like the spray is gone but hey this thing of soaking it in the hot water and then peeling off the glue i don't think it worked out as effectively for me and it was just a very tedious process of getting all that glue bits off but either way i eventually got it off and i just shampooed and conditioned i just use literally any shampoo and conditioner <laughs> so long as it's like nourishing moisturizing that's pretty much what i use i'm not too picky but yeah this is the wig and as you can see you can see like i tinted the lace and that lace gives more scalp than more than bleach knots would have if you know what i mean Anyways, now I'm trying to style it because I did let it air dry. So I'm spritzing some water, some conditioner water on it. And then now I'm really just going in on my TikTok skills. Like I see the girls, they take the hot comb and they spritz um, some water and then they hot comb the hairline back so that they can install it so much easier. And I was like, I'm going to do that because bearing in mind, guys, I am someone who like really just believes that I can do anything if I try hard enough. Like how hard can things be is truly my motto in life. And yeah, some things are quite hard. Installing wigs is one of them, especially when you have a big ass head like me and things don't actually fit. So you're fighting, you're fighting the whole time to get me. So I was fighting and I really wanted to achieve this blow out 70s blow wave hair um with like curlers type of look so that was what we tried to achieve today i even bought this brush specifically for this purpose for this wig you know um i do want to try straighten this wig at some point i think it would straighten quite nicely um it didn't blow like blowing it out trying to get some curls and body and volume that did absolutely nothing absolutely nothing but in my defense i think i was keeping the heat a bit too low for it to have any impact on the hair but uh, you see me trying twisting pulling right doing the most and it did absolutely nothing and then i was like let me give up and just try install the wig um or at least start my bald cap and then i'm gonna like curl the wig and do it properly so i started off with using the got to be gel just to like get all of my baby hairs and everything back away from my face because we're gonna put the bald cap on so another tip that i would suggest if you have a big head especially i would just get some like brown or sheer stockings and use that because as you can see i am fighting to get the stocking cap over my head like my head is too big and you kind of need the extra space like ideally you'd want to pull that thing over your eyes so that you can also make sure it covers your entire hairline and your sideburns my sideburns are obviously a problem spot because that's where the wig barely glues on and what's it going to glue on to if the wig cap is barely even attached to it you get me but I didn't have any stockings, so I'm going to push with what I've got, you get me. So I'm here cutting out my ears, giving myself a young facelift, and my spray nozzle on my got-to-be spray is like kind of broken. So if you see my face like kind of like squinting, it's because I don't know where that hairspray is going to come out of. And sometimes it gets in my eyes and everything. Like it's really just, I'm guessing, every single time. Another tip bit is um, the edge comb that I'm using is from Mr. Price, and I like it because it has the metal rat tail. And I think, especially when you're dealing with glues and sprays and wig installing, I think a metal rat tail is a lot easier than a plastic one. Cause I do have a plastic rat tail comb that I do use and I love that little comb, but like it just gets so sticky and it's harder to clean and blah, blah, blah. So I think the little metal edge does work a little bit better. Um, and those combs came in a pack of two and they were like 40 rand or something ridiculous like that. So do check it out if you're looking for some new tools. So yeah. I sprayed about two or so layers because I actually really wanted this wig to sit down well. This is the day before my birthday um, and I really just wanted this wig to sit nicely. I wanted to wear it for like two or three days. I ended up taking it off literally when the morning I woke up on my birthday, I hated it. <laughs> so I just ripped it off my head and gave my hairline a young wax and all of this hard work. It was something like two hours. All of that was done for nothing, but that's neither here nor there. Now that I had tried my best to dry down all of the hairspray because you do want it to be like dry before you start cutting it um i snipped off the little bits of the ears and then i'm trying to trim the hairline like kind of close to my hairline but obviously if i'm putting glue on this i don't want the glue to kind of sit exactly on my hairline so i do want it to be a little bit more of a fake forehead as well a fake hairline and not just cover my hair a lot of people on TikTok and stuff do have questions about like what happens to the back of the wig cap once you cut it, won't it lift from the back? And professionals sew it down. Personally, I don't care because all I care about is my like hairline and scalp. Like the back of my head is not my problem. And you'll find that like when you do it like this, I don't know, it, it just stays. Like it just like floats at the back of your head. Um, it just stays. I think this truly only becomes an issue if you're doing like a 360 wig or an updo or something like that. But like, as you can see, I do have like, a full head of fake skull. 
So yeah, so at this point I have to begrudgingly put makeup on my head and I'm using just my MAC um, Studio Fix powder in NW48 and I'm just placing that everywhere on my hairline. I, after I cut my bald cap, I did just use some hairspray to try and like lay it down just to keep it a bit flat. But like honestly, by the time you're putting glue all over it, it doesn't really matter. But you do obviously you don't want those pieces flying up or looking uneven or whatever. So now at this point, I'm like, okay, let me style my hair and I'm putting some heat protectant on it. You would think I'll put the heat protectant spray before I blow dry it, but like blow dry, blow dried. But either way, I didn't blow dry that much. It wasn't actually that much of a problem because I gave up very quickly once I saw it wasn't doing much. And the hair was the hair was dry anyway because I dried it the day before. So yeah, I'm just brushing it through and I'm actually trying to cut some layers. So yeah, like I said, I went to the school of TikTok and I just thought, yeah, I could do it. And I see people cut layers all the time. I was like, yeah, I have a razor. I can do that. It's going to be totally fine. So I'm just trying to cut some layers to give the hair a bit more dimension and body. But yeah, I, it just, it, whatever i gave up as well at some point i cut a bit but like how much am i supposed to cut do you get me so yeah i put some serum in it and once again i don't know why i'm doing this and i don't know why i'm doing this now like i should have put the serum in at the end or at the very beginning i don't know why i'm doing this right before i'm curling it anyways i've been like piecemeal buying um curlers what are they called like yeah the literal curlers and I clearly didn't have enough or I didn't have any that were big enough because I wanted like big bouncy curls. You know that 70s, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? So anyways, I curled the hair on the, on the wand and I got the wand pretty hot. So this hair can handle heat, but it just doesn't, it can't keep a curl or it can't keep a curl for that long, which is very frustrating. You have to use a lot of hairspray, which is fine, but like it's a bit frustrating. So yeah, that's what I did. I, I curled the hair with the tongue, I put some hairspray and then I rolled it up. And I rolled it up in different directions. So the ones that are next to each other, you'll see I rolled upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards. I don't know, to try to create some body volume, blah, 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 whatever. And then obviously the ones in the front because I wanted a middle part, but then you, you do it all up and then it separates and flows down and cascades down your face with majesty. And as you can see, there's another point where I realized I messed up. Like these things are not holding. It's not giving. Like I just look anyhow. I, it's, it's, I was fighting, guys. I was fighting this week. I was really struggling, but I'd already done all the curling. I put all of the rollers, rollers, that's what they're called. I don't know if that's what I've been saying, but I put the rollers in and I just, I got to see it through. So I just, I kept them, even though they were falling out. I don't even know if my hair was curly. The point of them was not being achieved, but I was just like, let me, let me just glue this thing down. So I'm using a lace grip. It was sent to me by a brand, but I'm not sure if they still operational at this point but it basically goes bond you glue you glue you get me like it's nothing crazy and i just did about two or three layers and i did my hair in um three portions i did like the forehead and then the sideburn areas so i put it on i smoothed it out with that like silver end with the metal end of the comb the like comb and then i blue dried blow dried it and then i put it on again blow dried it again and I think I did, I think I did three layers or I did at least two. Um, but my problem was I actually just didn't let it dry down enough. Like it should go fully transparent and you see the hair is just falling anyhow, just messing me up anyways. But the, the glue does eventually dry clear, but you can see it through the lace. Like you see the white and I don't think you should see the white, you know? But either way, like I wasn't too worried about it. There was a lot of stuff that had to go between now and the end of the hair. So I really wasn't too stressed about it. And then I took the rat tail comb to kind of like press it in slash comb the bits back so that obviously like they won't fly away and the bits of the hairline in um, getting into the glue. Personally, installing a brand new wig with lace on will always be my favorite feeling. It is so fun. I see why all of the TikTok and Instagram and um, YouTube girlies get brand new wigs all the time. It is just so much easier to install a brand new wig than it is, and to show a brand new wig being installed than it is to show like an old wig. But the thing is, when people buy wigs, you're not gonna just wear it once, or you shouldn't be wearing it once. You're gonna have to rewear it. So you're gonna have to figure out a way to like reinstall the old wig. So that's what I'm doing now. And you can see like this wig is fitting like it it fits it covers my sideburns whatever but what you don't see is the back of my head because like i said that's none of my business and if you had to look right behind my ears you'll see that back half of that wig like all the tracks are just floating because i literally had to cut i had to cut it right where the frontal attached to the um to the rest of the wig so if you are if you are struggling with wig sizing that is a way you can do it some people 
I don't know exactly how they do it, but they chop off a, a little piece of somewhere else and sew that in to try and like expand the size of the wig. But if you're predominantly wearing your hair down, I even did a half up, half down um, look for Tebe Magoo's party. I think you can see it on Instagram or TikTok somewhere, like just what I look like. But it doesn't matter. Like you can do a half up, half down hairdo with your hair just floating like that. Just, just people just must mind their own business. Anyways, I couldn't, I can't find spritz in any pharmacy anywhere i saw it on take a lot but i didn't order it in time for this video so i just used a bit of hairspray to try and melt the lace and melt it a little bit more and i think it was fine i used this massive um elastic band i got them from the surprise you can get a two pack and then i was like let me try start styling the hair while i'm laying down my hairline um personally i don't think my elastic band does much but i also don't know what it's supposed to be doing what i'm supposed to be doing so i'm just pushing you know so i'm taking out all these curlers and as i'm doing this i'm realizing nothing really happened like only the end bits really curled with the curling wand and like do you see even that front bit it wasn't doing much like it really wasn't doing much or like giving me the volume that i needed so it was pretty annoying anyways i kept pushing i kept um trying to get some volume like maybe it's gonna give me the body the curls that i've been looking for maybe it's gonna maybe it's gonna no 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 it's not it's not um, it just looked super messy. It looked like I'd just woken up. But on the upside, it did kind of look like my hair. Like, I thought this was my hair. It just, it just didn't have, you know what look I was going for. This didn't have it. But I was gonna, I was determined to keep pushing, you know? So I'm taking a wax, um, stick. I got that from Hair City. And my hot comb. Um, I didn't even let this thing get fully hot. And I was just like, let me see. <laughs> let me see what I'm doing. And now that the hair was flat, I was like, ah, this is even worse somehow. Okay, maybe some baby hairs will fix this. Maybe the baby hairs will fix the hairline because you can still see the glue peeking through um, like my hairline. So I'm like, okay, I don't really like baby hairs, especially big baby hairs. So I'm like, I'm going to do some little ones, just a little swoop to cover the corners. I truly think you only need to cover like the corners of your hairline trying to do baby hairs throughout the whole um, frontal. It's just unnecessary. Like maybe your corners and your sideburns and even then keep them small, keep them cute. Like it looks like a lot of hair, but that's because... I was just swooping that into the rest of the wig. It's not that I was swooping my edges down to my brows. You get what I mean? Um, I'm also a very proud gal. Like, I I do say a lot when there's no when to stop, but like, I don't know how to ask for help. And clearly, your girl needed some help. Like, I was not doing a great job with this. But yeah, I put some mousse. Once I curled it, that little curler is a straightener, a little hair straightener, mini hair straightener from Miss Surprise. It's sucky, it gets super hot, but the cable is just really short, which is annoying. But yeah, once I put um, the mousse on it and laid it flat, I think I tooted a bit of hairspray on it just to keep it in place. And I used just a bit of powder. Like, my hairline was starting to give. Like, it's giving scalp, it's giving scissor, it's giving, you cannot tell me this is not my hair. I am taking this to the grave. Like, this is my hair, guys. I'm so sorry. Like, it was looking cute um except for the rest of it like it was <laughs> like this thing was not giving guys like i just i was i just i just didn't know what to do with it at this point but either way i was like for an install video let me stop here i was like the install is done the hairline looks cute the wig looks cute that was the point of this video but like yeah then i stopped recording and then i was like you know what i'm going out for lunch today i still need to look presentable so what am i going to do with my hair and when all fails do a side part i believe in a side part more than anything i think a side part especially on a wig looks super natural or just more natural and i feel like you can get away with a lot more with just a beautiful delicious side part so i put more uh just a little bit of the wax and i use my hot comb to just like try and style that into place and i'm like you know what even if i don't do anything else to the hair i can live with this a lot more than i can live with the middle part also middle parts are very like persnickety on me in general so it has to be right for it to be right so then i took my curler i put some curls in it and i'm like this is so beautiful and yeah i went to lunch like this and it looks super cute thank you so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and i will try again in a few months Mwah.